Hello and welcome to this 8th video series of Terraform template. So in today's video session, I will be demonstrating about how to output variables in Terraform. So what is the purpose of output? Okay, so first use case I want to tell you, suppose you are writing separate separate modules, like one module you have wrote for your NIC card, network interface and second module you have wrote separately for uh, your uh, EC2 instance. Now the problem is how you will pass the NIC interface ID to the EC2 instance. Correct? So in that case you can output the NIC ID from NIC module and pass it to the EC2 instance. And second use case, I don't want to go to the AWS portal. Okay, I just want after all the code finishes executing all the deployments happen then in the Terraform console itself it should show me like these are the resources I have created okay so it is depending on you what type of variable you want to output so there are many use case but these are the two most important so let me revise first if you want to pass output of one variable one module to other module then it is a lifesaver and second you want uh, the name of the storage like the name of the EC2 instance instead of going to the uh, this portal you will get here itself okay you can uh, if you need subnet ID that also you can output here only you you no need to go to the portal and uh, check the ID manually right so these are the two most important use cases so let's go to the one of the code we have and uh, let's try outputting what are the value we want so this is the Terraform code. Here I am creating a, a S3 bucket. This is the name of the bucket. What uh, I am passing through the variable here. Okay, okay. This. If you don't know how to write this variable, you can watch out my previous video. And these are the default values I am passing here. This is the reason. This is the S3 bucket name, and this is the S ACL value. Either it is public or private. For my case, I am using a private ACL value. Along with that, if you don't know how to write it off, uh, this tfvad file, you can watch my previous videos like directly. We have discussed how we can write this tfvad file so that for different different environment like either it is dev testing or production, how we can create our different different tfvad file and we can reuse our the reuse the template we have right. So these are the value I am providing. So what I want here, the main question is how to output right. So simply to start from this only you have just you have to write this output here you have to provide the name by what name do you want to output so you can provide anything like name of name of okay the output name should be this and what is the value you want to pass hope you remember like how we pass value of one resource to other resource right if you don't know please watch my previous video so here i will tell you in the same way you will pass like you will use the th this name the resource name along with that you will use the logical name it is giving me here along with that what do you want you want this right these are the things you can output right these are the things not available here but still you can still you can you can ex, uh, get your id you can get the what type of policy you are using in which reason it is what are the tags here everything you can get but uh, now i am using the bucket name and this bucket dot the name see this is the name i want to output here okay so this will display the name of the bucket whatever we are providing after once it will be created deployed then it will output me the name of the bucket so along with that let's uh, output some more variables like uh, this acl value you can provide any value right based on your comfort this is it is not like that i am using the same value you will use okay here okay instead of no default you will pass the value equals to okay and the same you will copy here this time what do you want you want acl okay see it is giving you the status 
along with that what i want then one thing is remaining like what are the tags we are assigning once after completion completion of this deployment it should give me this tags what are all the tags we have assigned to the resource which we are creating value equals to again write aws okay let's take it once you were pitched you have tags here just take it and save it so see okay we can write here itself but uh, it's a better coding approach that you will have one separate file for this okay so i have given everything here correct so now let's go ahead and let's execute so that we will see what are the output we are getting so directly i am going for apply make sure that the storage name you are using that is globally unique right okay let's wait until this is deployed so it started executing s3 bucket is getting created here So see, once the apply is complete, you can see one resource has been added. Along with that, let's check our output. So this is the format output we are getting here. You can see the ACL value is private. Name of the storage, the name of the output we have declared. You can see here the name of the storage account, this and the tags, right? So like this, once the code will be deployed, you will get these all things, right? And you can make you can make this all make use of this whole thing in a second uh, module right so that going forward we will see how we can pass this when we will do the modular approach of this data form we will see that also so this is for today thanks for watching